Hi, it's Bren. I am going to do a quick tutorial, or I, I hope it's quick, um, about how to download more fonts into your design space. Um, when you put a, a name or word or whatever in here, you can choose what style you want. Now this one, for some reason, I've already got it where it can't. So let's put that back in there, James. Okay. So we can choose right here what fonts we want. I'm not crazy about that font. Now, some of these cost money, as you can see. I don't pay for fonts um, unless it is just outstanding and it's perfect. So I go to System, and basically this is going to have the free fonts from Cricut and any of the fonts that I already have downloaded on my computer. And so I can go through here and I can quickly figure out what font that I want for this word, okay? But let's just say I've gone through all my fonts and I haven't found anything that I like. That's okay. I go to a place called dafont.com, okay? And I choose what I want. This time I chose handwritten. And then I actually put the name James in there so that I could see what it was going to look like, okay? Um, but we could make this uh, cartoonish too, you know, so we could choose one of those. You just scroll through here and you do whatever you want, you know, whatever fits what you're making at the time, okay? So here's Keep on Trucking. We'll go ahead and we will just download that. This is what I want. This is how I want my James to look. Come over here to download. See, it's as free for personal use. I, I don't sell, so I don't have a problem with that. And I already have in my downloads folder another file, a folder called fonts. And that's where it's going to go. So these are all the fonts that I have already downloaded. I'm going to save it. And down here on mine, it has a pop-up for um, the things that I've downloaded. So I'm going to click it and say open. And here it is. Keep on tracking. There's a README file that you can open and it will tell you what you, well, what you are allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. But the true type font file is the one that I do. I double click it and here it is. Okay, these are what all the letters look like and I just click install. That's it. It's done. It's installed. So the other thing that you have to do though is when you come back over to Cricut, you have to reload it. So you're going to lose your work, but that's okay. So I'm going to reload it. And I kept this up so I could see what the name was. So now let's put James back in there. And let's go find keep on trucking and I can actually come up here keep on trucking there it is okay so that's how you do it um, I know that a lot of times we feel like that we need to go through all of these well I go to system but sometimes it's just quicker to go here and what I can do is if I think I might have that font I can come over here and I can put it in the search and that way it'll tell me whether I have that font or not, okay? And basically that's it. I am going to write this out step by step, step in my blog. So you, if you don't follow me, jump over there to the blog and follow the step by step. And there you go, you got any free um, font that you want. Have a good day, keep on crafting.